on the floor here. Both these teams driven by their backcourt play. Boy, B.A., a lot of pace, a lot of skill out there in the respective backcourts. This game probably will be won or lost based on the perimeter play. Here are the five for the Suns. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. Crowder and Aiden, the bigs. And it's Bridges in at the three slot. Now here's Paul. Shoots from 12. It's good. Chris well, Paul. the mid-range is always a good option for Chris Paul. Outside Hardaway. Doncic outside. Stolen by Booker. Pass to Paul. Yes, and it's Booker with the setup. Well, you think because of his frame it would be easy to knock Chris Paul off balance, but this guy has concentration and tenacity. Really good job keeping his focus. The offensive rebound. Porzingis. Paul with a steal. Crowder with it. Picked up by Powell. And Crowder with the jam. You simply cannot sleep on Crowder in transition. He's a speedy forward who will run the floor for easy opportunities. Now here's Doncic. Pass to Porzingis. Kicks it to Doncic. Fires from deep. Phoenix grabs the miss. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. Booker, the pass to Aiden. Oh, great D that time from Powell. For Dallas, they've gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Here's Doncic. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Well, it can't get worse than this. 0 for 4 to start. Here's Booker. Powell pulls it in. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Pass to Porzingis. Sinks that one from the post. Well, this guy's got size and showing increasing strength. Kristaps Porzingis, nicely done. Ball against Doncic. Ball passes to Booker. Out to the wing. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Some people don't give Chris Paul enough credit for his outstanding shooting, but he can knock it down. You can't give him any room. Greg, Chris Paul just gets more and more reliable as a shooter, even after all these years in the league. Yeah, I mean, he's always been smart with his shots, but he has great efficiency for a guard, and he could easily put up bigger scoring numbers, but that's not his focus. That free throw, no good. I am very confident that Chris Paul is a future Hall of Famer. Not only accomplished between the lines for well over a decade, both offensively and defensively, but years and years of service for the good of the game. Now here's Doncic. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And he gets it to go. A 6'7", 230 pounds. Luka Doncic is a load in the painted area. Doncic against Paul. And the layup is good. Paul's got seven. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Inside, here's Crowder. And Crowder with the jam. There's a level of floor awareness that has always been innate to Chris Paul. What a pretty five. Doncic against Paul. On the wing, Finney Smith. Powell in the post. The 11-footer for three. Hardaway. No good that time. And Phoenix the other way now. It's Bridges on the wing. Back to Paul. Outside Booker. Nails it from three. In this situation, Devin Booker on the catch will never hesitate. Dallas has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Porzingis in the post. He's against Crowder. 
Here's Finney Smith. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Dayton against Powell. Outside Finney Smith. Pass to Hardaway. From eight feet away, Porzingis is doubled. Here's Finney Smith. Crowder grabs the miss. The Suns leading. Left side pull. Carries it down low. He's got nine. Well, you love Crowder's willingness to distribute the basketball. His vision allows him to set his teammates beautifully. That's tipped. Paul with a steal. The Mavericks pull it in. Benny Smith with it. And it's Paul picking him up. Here's Hardaway. And the layup is good off the glass. Well, I think Hardaway Jr. has the kind of athleticism that allows him to be a contributor on the backboards. Ooh, a good look from Bridges. Nice spin off the left rim and in. An outstanding first quarter from the field. Dallas has gone only one of four from three-point land. On the wing, Finney Smith. Powell against Hayden. Doncic passes to Porzingis. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul of the game. Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Ball against Doncic. One drops. Three for six now. I'll tell you, Luka Doncic makes tough shots look easy. Boy, that close to the bucket through that much contact? Nice. Now here's Paul. Nine points in the game. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Pass to Finney Smith. And here's Doncic. For three shot that time not on target and Phoenix the other way now now here's Paul Bridges outside to the paint here's Aiton Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now the Mavericks have got 6 of 14 in so far Hardaway against Booker. Back to Hardaway. 4-3. Gets it to go. Makes it 2 for 5. Now Tim Hardaway Jr. is known as a scorer. Knocks down the long distance look right there. Good chance here for Booker. Again, the Suns good for 2. The Mavericks trailing. Hardaway on the wing. Aiden against Porzingis. Ooh, excellent D there from Aiden. Now Paul. Nine points in the game. Pass to Aiden. Now Paul. Guarded by Doncic. And Aiden with the stuff. The elite athleticism from Mr. Aiden. No doubt on the dunk. And he's going for the lob. Stolen by Aiden. And there's Booker. That one's good. On the assist from Paul. Paul's got four assists now tonight. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Phoenix. They've come out in full attack mode defensively. Applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've gotten off turnovers. Here's Paul. The Mavs get their last shot to go. Outside for Booker. Another three for Phoenix. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this Batters guy making plays. Ball. What a quarter. Now a timeout called by Dallas. Boy, Devin Booker is just such an explosive force on the offensive end. He can take over a game each and every night he steps between the lines. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Brown, he's checked in for Porzingis. Brown comes in for Finney Smith. Bullock, he's checked in for Hardaway. And Brunson is subbed in for Luka Doncic. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it inbounds in time. 
That's four turnovers for them in this one. Just lazy play early. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. For three, Bridges knocks it down from distance. Bridges has got five now. Boy, when Booker gets locked indoors, he's as deadly as they come in the NBA. Well, the list of guys who've gone for a 70-point eruption is still very short. 20 points per game for almost the entirety of his career. This guy scores with ease. I don't care what defender you send him. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. And it's Phoenix's ball. They're on a 12-4 run. And it's blocked. Outside, Brown. Here's Bullock. Booker defending. Six to shoot. Brown can't hit. Phoenix has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Payne, the pass to Bridges. Misses off the left iron. Boy, a miss like that will drive any scorer crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Brown inside. Booker defending. Pass to Brunson. From the arc. Rebounded by Payne. Down low. Here's Johnson. Count it. One for one to start the game. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Now, this is the kind of pass that gets everyone excited. It's also how you build great team chemistry. And here are the Suns. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's Payne. And there's the drive. And the officials call goaltending. So they'll award the basket. He almost blocked that shot in time. Just a man a second late. Shamit, he's checked in for the Suns. And for Dallas, they're shooting well so far at 48%. To the middle. Here's Kleba. Uses the glass to finish the layup. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Outside Payne. Johnson against Kleba. It's Johnson with a drive. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Inside. It's stolen by Johnson. And they're pushing it up. Here's Shamit. Another one falls for Phoenix. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. Count it. Brown's got his second basket on the night. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. To the inside. Shots good by Sharich. And the Suns lead by 16. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Brown. It's hauled in by the Suns. <laughs> let's be honest. That's not a shot he should be taking. Well, it's hard to imagine that the play was designed to go in that direction. Boy, I'd be surprised if we see that again. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Five on the clock. Back to Sharich. Shoots over Brown. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Devin Booker. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for Phoenix. He put together ten points in the quarter. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, the Suns enjoying a nice lead here. Simply put, 
they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Well, very disruptive in that first period. They never allowed the offense to get comfortable. On the court right now, second quarter for the Suns. Bridges and Johnson are the forwards. Landry Shaman is out there with Cameron Payne. And it's Sharich in at the center position. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. DeAndre Ayton being the number one pick in 2018, his potential is obvious. With this team on the rise, he's looking to impose his will on a nightly basis. Ayton said, quote, I know how hard I work and what kind of a player I am. I'm trying to take over every possession, being more dominant every game. Oh, scary thought, Allie. Thanks. Whew, I think he wants that one back. I mean, he knows he's capable of better. Payne against Brunson. Kick out to Brown. It's Bullock on the wing. Sinks the tray. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Here's Payne. And he drains the quick shot. And the Suns lead by 12. Yeah, just late help on the defensive side. I mean, just another breakdown for them. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. They have a big lead for a reason. Now here's Brunson. And here's Cauley Stein. Outside Brunson. Stolen by Payne. To the paint. Johnson passes to Sharich. Again, the Suns good for two. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. Outside Brunson. Pass to Bullock. It's Bullock on the wing. It's stolen by Johnson. Here's Shamit. And he can't get that one. Nice D from Cauley Stein. Here's Bullock. He's guarded by Bridges. Brunson against Payne. It's stolen by Johnson. Pass to Shaman. Takes a three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Outside, Brown. Holly Stein gets the bucket. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Payne, the pass to Sharich. Outside, Johnson. Pass to Shaman. There's the triple. That's a foul called on Cameron Johnson. That's his first foul. The Mavericks making a switch here. Powell's checked in. And a change for the Suns. Crowder, he's checked in for Bridges. Dallas has gone four of nine so far for the perimeter. Charge against Brunson. Pass to Brown. Back to Brunson. Three-pointer. Doesn't go that time. Now the Suns take it the other way. It's Shamit on the wing. Bow pulls it in. Boy, defense nowhere to be found, and neither was his shot at that time. Brunson with it. Now guarded by Crowder. Here's Cauley Stein. And Powell with the scuff. You have to love the intensity that Powell plays with on the glass, using that long body to track down those offensive boards. Here's Shaman. And Cauley Stein over to help. And here's Sharich for three. And the Suns miss again. Dallas has gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. Pass to Bullock. To the wing on the left. in the post. Sharich on him. The lead now cut to single digits. Powell's gotten his second bucket. Alright, we're putting you on the spot here, Doris. 
Who do you think is the best head coach in the NBA? Boy, you're trying to get me into trouble, <laughs> B.A. I think most people are going to answer sort of old school pop because of the number of championships. I'm going to take it in a different direction and say one of the guys that, that captivates me, whether he's loaded with stars or whether he's trying to grind it out, that would be Eric Spolstra. He's got the ability to X and O with the best of them, and I think he manages people as well as anyone I've seen. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look, right at the cup, nicely done. Brunson against Payne. Tips! Well, Crowder known for his defense, and you love to see him get high for these rejections. And here's Payne outside. Mavericks with a rebound. Powell's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Cauley Stein. Count it. His third and five attempts. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Now here's Payne. Six points for him. That one falls. Cameron Payne. Payne's got eight. Timeout called. Timeout the Mavericks. To doubt. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. We're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. different look here. Porzingis has checked in for Cauley Stein. Finney Smith comes in for Brown. Hardaway's checked in for Bullock. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Brunson. That'll be a five second call. Phoenix ball. Off the inbound. Another one falls for Phoenix. Well pre-shot preparation is there. Chris Paul anticipating his teammates going to deliver it, and then he delivers on the make. And just as he showed in college, Landry Shaman has a very high basketball IQ. He does, and he makes great decisions with the ball. I mean, he takes care of the ball so well. He always plays under control and commands the offense exceptionally well. Now here's Booker. Ten points for him. Aiden. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Booker's got three assists now in this one. Doncic against Paul. The ball's knocked loose. And now the Suns, fast break. Outside Booker. Pass to Paul. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. There is an absolute Shooting certainty that when Chris Paul Chris stops Paul. playing basketball, Let's he shot. will be in Springfield in the Hall of Fame. Wherever he's been able to play, he has been able to thrive. That's good from Paul. And with Paul, after some injuries early, he changed how he went about his offense. Well, you think about him coming out of college, he was very solid athletically. He's still good in that department, obviously. But the vast majority of his success comes from one of the best IQs and knowledge of the game that we've ever seen. Now here's Finney Smith. He has six. Here's Powell. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. This is a smart kid who works hard, right? I mean, Powell draws the foul, gets to the line. Nicely done, young kid. And he drops the first. Thank you. 
Hits both from the strike. Boy, Dwight Powell is such a hard-playing, athletic big man. He could fit himself into any scheme right now. Count that bucket. He assists. Aiden's got four points in the quarter. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. Pass to Shaman. Aiden against Powell. Here's Shamit. Great tee that time from Porzingis. One thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebounding. And they double up Porzingis. Here's Finney Smith. Buries it from three. Finney Smith's got nine. You know, building up confidence as the game goes on. Hit one from behind the arc in the opening period. Two here in the second. Booker with it. Guarded now by Finney Smith. The 15-footer. They get it back. Aiden. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Ten points for him. What a fantastic offensive rebounder. Aiden's so good at using his physical advantages. Doncic passes to Hardaway. Doncic against Paul. And they double up Porzingis. Six on the shot clock. Penny Smith's shot is off. Phoenix has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Crowder finds Paul. Now Booker. Pass to Shaman. The three ball. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. For three. Booker's got six assists here tonight. Well, what you love about Devin Booker, this guy, yes, he is a shoot-first player, but if somebody's open, he will find you. Phoenix has gone only one of five from beyond the three-point line in the second quarter. It's Shamit on the wing. And it's stolen by Finney Smith. And now the Mavs on the run. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. first personal foul. Second team foul. Two. And Grant, after a training camp invite back in 2016, undrafted rookie Dorian Finney-Smith making the Mavs roster. It was a big deal. They saw a 3 and D potential in this young guy. Well, the effort and tenacity have been there from the beginning. And now the shot is coming along, too. Kleba, he's checked in for Powell. And the change for the Suns. Bridges is checked in. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. From 13. Aiden, no good. Dallas has gone four of six from outside. Looking sharp here in the second. Here's Doncic. Now shooting 50% for the game. He's four for eight. Yeah, this guy will not hesitate. Reads the defense, understanding mid-range jumper is available. Yeah, I can make that. Here's Booker, and he drives in. Porzingis grabs the board. Dallas has got six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. On the wing, Finney Smith. Sinks it from distance. Finney Smith's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Booker goes in. Sweet little floater. And the Suns lead by 10. Uh, Devin Booker sees a window of opportunity to get to the dribble drive game and takes advantage. Doncic against Paul. Doncic right side. Clock at six. Shoots over Paul. Again, Dallas. <laughs> what a gifted natural scorer is Luka Doncic. Nice looking shot. And he lobs it up. Poke loose. Pass to Finney Smith. Fires for three. Another three for Dallas. They closed the gap over the last few possessions. But can they push through and grab the lead? Yeah, it feels like they've ramped up their intensity. They have forced good things to happen. Now they're back in it. And it's Phoenix with another. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Now here's Doncic. Ten points for him. Driving inside. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Doncic has got 12. 
Well, Luka Doncic, because he understands windows of opportunity, has the footwork and the change of pace, the drive is easy for the dog. Bridges with it. He's marked by Finney Smith. Crowder. Here's Aiton. That's basket number six and eight tries. And you have to appreciate the heart they've shown on the offensive boards this quarter. Doncic against Paul. Down low. Here's Kleba. And finished off by Kleba. Yeah, because Luka Doncic is such a threat to score it, it opens up the passing game. And boy, it is on display right now. Doncic against Paul. Pass to Bridges from behind the arc. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Bridges has got his third bucket of the night. Well, we know Mikel Bridges can connect from distance. This guy has become a consistent threat from deep. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. And so it's the Phoenix Suns leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. And don't go far. We'll be right back. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Chris Paul has been the story in this one. He had 16 points, 2 steals, and 6 assists. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Suns? It's great to see a team going inside, challenging the defense in the paint. You don't see that mentality as often in today's game. So much is perimeter. Guys want to stay on the outside. They don't want to get wet at it. And uh, Shaq, what did you see from Dallas? The amount of turnovers they piled up in that first half was the same. Way too reckless. Guys trying to do too much. Others the opposite. They've got to take care of the ball if they ever want to sustain any momentum. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Chris Paul having a dominant impact in this game. He was getting into the lane easily that first half. It's just relentless. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. Hardaway Jr. and Finney Smith, they're out there on the perimeter. At the 4-5, and five, it's Porzingis and Powell, and it's Doncic in at the point guard position. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Well, you've got to be, as a guard, calm and in control on the interior. Devin Booker, so much confidence in his game. Doncic, good. <laughs> Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Doncic against Paul. Porzingis for three. And the Mavericks, another three. Now this is why they call him the unicorn. Porzingis off the catch, ready to rise and fire. That's seven for three, everybody. Paul with it. Now Doncic defending. The Mavericks pull it in. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. Back to Hardaway. Powell passes to Doncic. To the middle. That one's good from Powell. On the assist from Doncic. Doncic has got six assists now in the game. Inside. Here's Aiton. Count that one. He's eight for ten from the field now. Guys, I like how assertive DeAndre Aiton is looking right now. This is allowing him to stay hot out there. Here's Powell. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. That Crowder's got his sixth rebound on the night. They tried to stay perfect in the half, but three for four now. Phoenix has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Bridges, right side. The three is up. He drops it from range. Bridges has got 11 points. 80% shooting to start the third. Four for five. Over to the wing. 
Here's Porzingis. Hardaway, the pass to Powell. To the inside, Doncic. That one is off. Ooh, excellent D there from Aiden. Here's Booker, driving to the basket. And Aiden gets it to go. And it's a 10-point Suns lead. And they're building on their lead, doing whatever they can to blow this game open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. Doncic finds Powell. Oh, no good again that time. Crowder, pass to Paul. Pass to Booker, and Booker gets double teamed. And Paul gets it to go. 18 points for him. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Outside, Finney Smith. Down low. Crowder with a steal. Here we go. One on one. Booker with it. He's picked up by Hardaway. Booker can't get it to go. For Dallas, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Outside, Porzingis. Pass to Doncic. Beyond the arc. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got a rebound number eight here already in the game. Booker. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got assist number eight now on the night. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Time called here. The Mavericks decide to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Completely new group here for the Mavericks. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Payne against Brunson. Pass to Brown. Back to Bullock. To halt the run. Gets the three ball to go. Bullock's got his second bucket of the night. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Payne, the pass to Bridges. Knocked away. Shoots over Brown. Not enough on that one as it misses. Dallas has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Here's Brunson. Lays it up and banks it in. Brunson's got his second basket. The Suns have gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. Here's Booker. Hauled in by Brown. Brown drives in. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Mikhail Bridges. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Phoenix. They keep piling on the assist, guys. They haven't pulled off any in that regard. Now, the other thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint. Plenty of their points coming from close range. And he knocks down the first one. The Suns making a switch here. Shamich checked in. He makes one or two that time. 
The Suns leading. Now here's Bridges. 11 points in the game. From deep. Shamit, no good. For Dallas, they've gotten 5 of 10 shots to go. Here's Brunson. Up and in on the layup. Brunson's gotten 4 this quarter. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. And he lobs it up top. And the jam by Coley Stein. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Here's Shamit. He's got five. Bridges outside. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the long day. Shamit's got eight points. You know, guys, that's the selfless attitude of Mikel Bridges. So willing to give it up to an open guy. To the middle. Here's Brown. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Phoenix has gotten seven of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Payne against Brunson. And stolen by Brunson! Pass to Brown. Puts up a three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Boy, one thing you love about Dario Saric, his ability to pass as a big man. This guy has great vision and the ability to deliver the basketball. Now here's Payne. Give him eight points now. Bridges outside. Just four to shoot. The Suns need to get off a shot. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And Doris Sharge, almost like a store brand version of Jokic with how he can create. Oh, that's a great description because there are some fantastic store brands. He's got that same skill set, right? This guy is always going to find a way to contribute because he's got such a well-rounded offensive game. And so here's Phoenix. The Mavs get their last shot to go. Brunson against Payne. Pass to Shaman. Shoots from 14. Here's Sharik. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. There is a heart and passion that Sharik brings to the game every night. Good job initiating contact. Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Hall, he's checked in for the Suns. Good, Sharic. Yeah, Dario Sharic has a busier schedule than most NBA players because almost every offseason, guys, he spends his whole summer as one of the key players on the Croatian national team. He's a player who basically plays year-round. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Paul's got space. Called in by Brown. Brown's got a six rebound on the night. That's a foul. Called on Cameron Johnson. That's foul number two for him. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. with possession here. Trailing by four. And that one drops. Bullock's got ten. Boy, absolutely no rim protection leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Here's Payne. And he drops in the layup off the glass. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Dallas has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. And passes to Brown. It's Brown on the wing. Pass to Kleba. Left side, Brown. 
Just five to shoot. Dallas needs to get off a shot. And here's Brunson from the arc. And they recover it. Brown passes to Brunson. Driving in. And a two-handed jam! Woo-wee! What a big finish out of the backcourt. That might be exactly what they needed at this point of the game. Boy, as tight as this one is, that's a statement play saying, hey, listen, we're not here to back down from you guys. Here's Johnson. The Mavs get their last shot to go. Brown with the block. And Brunson, here we go. Boom, he jams it straight down. There are no easy comebacks, but they really had to dig deep for this one. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. Okay, Brown with the block. And they'll keep possession. Here's Payne. He takes it in. Nails it. He's now 6 for 8 from the floor. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Pass to Brown. Fires it. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Brown's got his second basket of the night. You can really see their confidence growing as this game has gone on. They have reason to believe now. What I love is the heart, the fire, the tenacity. This is absolutely fantastic. Here's Payne. That one doesn't drop. Some solid defense from Brunson. The Mavericks shooting a red-hot 63% in this game. Two minutes remaining in the third. To the paint. Here's Brown. And the jam by Brown. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. The Sun's trailing. Payne with it. He's got 12. Pass to Sharich. Outside Paul. Fader on the way. The Mavericks pull it in. Brown's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Brunson against Paul. Inside. And Brown, the bucket on the assist by Brunson. Brown's got ten. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. And the Suns call time here. Lots to talk about here, guys. I mean, losing momentum and looking for answers. I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. Ladies and gentlemen, your Mavericks dance team. Zengis has checked in for Brown. Finney Smith comes in for Brown. And Hardaway is subbed in for Bullock. Now here's Booker. He's got 16. Pass to Bridges. Up top, Aiden. Defended by Porzingis. The kick out to Paul. Gets the three to fall. Paul's got 21 points in the game. Well, Chris Paul is such a hard guard. You've got to contest three because of his ability to drive. Like, what do you do if you're a defender? You are in a problematic situation. Now here's Brunson. 12 points for him. Oh, rejected by Aiton. Boy, Aiton's reach is absolutely incredible. Great anticipation. That is nice defense. Pass to Crowder. And Crowder with the jam. Assist goes to... His energy is unmatched. The 
finish and transition nice and easy. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. With a nine-footer, Brunson misses. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Booker attacking. Good D by Hardaway. Stolen by Bridges. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Suns ahead. They lead by one. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. trailing on the court for the Suns getting the fourth quarter going Bridges and Crowder holding down the forward spots Paul and Booker the talented backcourt and it's Aiden in at the five roaming the paint now here's Doncic just five on the clock from 11 feet away here's Porzingis goes up and lays it in nice and easy and the Mavericks leap by one they're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Booker for three. The shot no good. And it's Dallas the other way. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. First team. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown from the Mavericks. When they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game, they've taken it. Yeah, something else that stands out tonight is how many assists they have. First one falls for him. And he makes both free throws. And for the Suns, they're shooting a fantastic 57%. Here's Bridges, and it's Bridges with the jam. Well, you cannot let Mikhail Bridges get into the paint because he's going to hammer it home when you do. Outside, Finney Smith. Doncic against Paul. Now here's Doncic. He's guarded closely. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Well, that's about decision-making and being comfortable in the pick-and-roll. For Luka, he's been there and done that. And Aiton with the stuff. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Doncic passes to Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Easy money for Kristaps Porzingis. That's seven three we're talking about. For Phoenix, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Who poked away. Here's Crowder. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, you think about Jake Crowder's career. He's bounced around to a few teams. But one thing we know, he's always Choose had an Phoenix. impact to affect the Jay game Crowder. with his defense Two and shots. with his basketball intellect. And Doris Crowder's defense, a big part of what he can offer a team. Right, because he's strong enough to guard in the post. He's quick enough to guard on the perimeter. Think about it. In 2020 NBA Finals, he was asked to contain LeBron James. That's the kind of confidence coaches have in Crowder's competitive spirit defensively. And he makes a first. I just have so much respect for how Jay Crowder plays the game. This guy works so hard for every single minute he's out there, and you love seeing that. Powell, he's checked in for Kleba, the Mavericks leading. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. To the middle, Porzingis. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. His second personal foul. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. Boy, the aggressiveness in the paint for Porzingis. You know, putting the onus on the officials to make a call. You've got to make them decision makers. 
Both free throws good from Porzingis. One challenge for Kristaps Porzingis has been his health because over the course of his young career, he's missed about a quarter of the schedule to injury. And the shot's good. You know, that's a case where big enough to absorb the contact, steady enough to finish through it, Booker is the real deal. Doncic up top. He's guarded by Paul. Paul against Doncic. And Doncic hammers it home. Consistent nightly scoring in the league is hard, but Luka Doncic showing he has the frame, the game, and the stamina to do just that. The Suns have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. And doors throughout the league's history, a lot of players well over seven feet tall have dealt with leg issues. Yeah, in fact, even after the Knicks drafted Porzingis, if you recall, the front office questioned how he'd hold up. But boy, KP has put a lot of work into strengthening that lower body, getting down in the stance to hold ground and protect himself a little bit. <laughs> you can feel the temperature rising in this arena. Both teams pouring it on offensively. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop. Great positioning on the putback. What a motor by DeAndre Ayton. Great job on the second chance putback. And Dallas calls time here. You know, my guess right now is coach wants to talk over this turnover issue, and it seems like they've been trying to force things a bit and need to find a steady rhythm offensively. coach of the Mavericks said to the team and with every possession being critical he was clear with his team quote this is what we prepared for keep your focus stay in the moment and execute he believes that's the path to victory guys now here's Porzingis and they double up Porzingis here's Doncic and the Mavericks getting another bucket right there <laughs> well, Luka Doncic showing I don't need the basketball to dominate playing with his teammate there ready on the catch Booker against Hardaway. Booker, the pass to Paul. Back to Booker. To tie it up. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. For Dallas, they've gotten almost all of their shots to fall in the fourth. Six of seven. Back to Doncic. Down low. Count it. And the foul. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. While playing with the lead, they've been working for more high percentage shots they can depend on. Third team foul. At the line for Dallas. Dwight Powell. Shooting one. And the free throw, no good. Phoenix has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Bridges passes to Ayton. Banked it in off the glass. Ayton's got six points in the quarter. Don't let DeAndre Ayton get comfortable. This guy is a problem on the interior. Kicks it to Doncic. Takes the three. Drains the triple. Ooh, finally hitting one from range. That's his first three of the night. The Suns have gotten seven of nine from the floor in this fourth. Here's Paul. And it's Phoenix with another. Well, the IQ is just at the top of the NBA game. Chris Paul so smart at getting to his spots. To the inside. Out of bounds. It'll be Suns ball. Phoenix ball. For Phoenix, they've gotten 8 of 10 attempts in. Very productive here in the fourth. Knocks it loose. And it's Crowder missing. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. Here's Booker. Tonight, 
to take the lead. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Powell's got six rebounds here tonight. Oh, lots of drama in this game so far. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes down to the final buzzer. Doncic passes to Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Well, Luka Doncic has an innate sense for when his teammates are open, and boy, does he deliver it. Timeout called the Suns. Boy, it's incredible to think that at just the age of 21, Luka Doncic entered as the odds-on favorite to win league MVP. He didn't win it that year, but if you ask me, it's a matter of when, not if. Here's Booker, and another superstar season for Luka Doncic in year three. But his numbers not dramatically improved on his second season. Do you think he's topping out? Uh, at age 22? I don't think so. We saw his three-point percentage, for one thing, jump up significantly. So barring injury, almost scary to think how good this guy can be. And here are the Mavericks now. The Suns getting their last shot to go. Doncic finds Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Well, as the role man in pick and roll game, Porzingis at his size can make a career out of this play. Outside Booker. Back to Paul. Pass to Crowder. Three-pointer. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Doncic outside. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. You can see Luka Doncic has the body, the handle, the footwork, and the savvy to draw fouls. That is nicely done. That's good from Doncic. Guys, a player like Luka Doncic is going to capture the imagination of NBA fans. His creativity, his flair for the dramatic, his passing, his shot making. I can't keep my eyes off Luka Doncic. Doncic hits them both, and they called him the Wonder Boy in Europe, Doris. Luka Doncic is a magician with the ball in his hands. And he just loves to play the game. That started at a very young age. Like so many other prodigies, his talent can take your breath away. Now here's Finney Smith. The six-footer. And Doncic finishes inside. Doncic has got 29. Boy, the bucket's been five feet wide for him. He's dropping everything in. Pass to Aiden. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Dwight Powell. That'll be a second foul of the game. Second team foul. Aiden against Powell. Bridges passes to Booker. Here's a three from Paul. The Mavericks pull it in. Now Doncic. Pass to Finney Smith. Here's Doncic. Shot clock at six. And Porzingis gets it to go on the assist from Doncic. Now it's a six-point Dallas lead. Phoenix has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Down low. Here's Aiton. And he banks in the layup. He's got 26. Boy, you think about DeAndre Aiton. It's his size that comes to mind. And he understands how to utilize that to score. Doncic outside. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his second. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. 
Now at the line for your Mavericks, Luka Doncic. At the line for two. That's good from Doncic. Some people believe Luka Doncic's rise to stardom has been quick, but let's not forget, this young man left his home to turn pro as a 13-year-old. He's forcing the action now, finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. Pass to Booker. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It goes on Tim Hardaway. Yeah, Devin Booker, shiftiness, gets himself into the paint. So aggressive and it pays off. The first one falls. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Both free throws good from Booker. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Here's Powell. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. How about the skills of Dwight Powell down low? Hard for the defense to match up with his length. Inside, yet another assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Outside Hardaway. He gets it in there. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. The Suns trailing. To the middle. Aiden inside. Now covers. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Crowder against Stancic. Pass to Hardaway. Here's Penny Smith. Three-pointer off the mark. They managed to get the rebound, but that's an area where they've been struggling tonight. Booker can't get it to go. Dallas has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. And here's Doncic. Into the lane. Deflects the pass to the paint. Here's Porzingis. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Scoring through contact is something Chris Stapp's Porzingis has got to get used to in the NBA. Teams try to get physical with this guy. Phoenix has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. And Booker gets double teamed. Inside, here's Crowder. And a nice finish on the layup. Crowder's got nine points here in the second half. Well, we see a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting nowadays. But you'll take that look right there any night of the week. They double him with Aiden. And here's Doncic outside. Hits a three-pointer. Doncic has got 34. Well, Doncic is never shy from three-point opportunity. You give him a window, he will take it. Booker against Hardaway. Pass to Crowder. To the inside. Aiton. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Aiton's got 30 points. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. All against Doncic. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Oh, go get it, big fella. Porzingis with the skyscraper. There's a minute 12 left in the game. Booker against Hardaway. And no good. Good D by Porzingis. They've got time on their side here, Grant. And if they're smart, they'll milk the clock a little. 
Pass to Finney Smith. Doncic outside to the middle. Here's Porzingis. And another dime for him. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. I mean, he keeping his head on a swivel, actively seeking out his teammates, incredible. And the new group getting ready for the Mavericks. Callie Stein, he checked in for Powell. Bullock comes in for Finney Smith. Burt's checked in for Hardaway. And Brunson is subbed in for Luka Doncic. Well, you love a guy who gets himself to the line, takes his time, and makes the free throws. Complete professional. Don't do anything silly. Just ride out the clock. Yes, if they take their time and execute, the game is all theirs. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Bullock. Shot clock at five. Takes it inside. Uses the glass to finish the layoff. And the Mavericks lead by 14. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Here's Kaminsky. And so it's the Mavericks taking care of business in this one. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks, guys. Dwight, a big difference in the second half. That's where you guys put this game away. What changed for you? Um, we tried to step up defensively. I think the biggest thing for us is once we start getting stops, we're able to be able to flow offensively and, and get things flowing. So uh, the biggest thing for us is to get stops. Thanks so much, Dwight. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.